Hello, this is Tolfan Trifold Production with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can easily apply decals or images to Blender or models inside of Blender by using the Stamp It add-on. It's not a free add-on, it's uh, an add-on you have to pay for. It's kind of pricey for, I guess, the just in general, it's around $17. Uh, but I'm using the first iteration of it which has some limited features uh, but the second iteration of it has more features applied to it which would be the opacity aspect of it which helps a lot but the steps I'm going to show you uh, in the first version of it can be applied as an introduction for the second part or the second iteration of it which is also helpful now I'll, I'll leave a link of it below this video so you can download yourselves and check it out and the uh, installation process is still the same uh, go to Edit, uh, Preferences, Install, navigate to where you've downloaded the zip file, don't unzip it, click on Install Add-on. Once you've done that, put a check in the box and just activate it. Uh, and it's for Blender 4.0 and above, so you can just keep that in mind. Now we're going to get rid of this cube, but we want to really push the add-on to see what it can actually do on a curved surface, that's where the action really happens. So with our cube selected, press delete on our keyboard, shift A, mesh, monkey, left click on monkey, and press 1 on our keyboard to go into the front view. And we're going to make Suzanne a little bit more appealing to the eyes. We're going to click on this wrench here, add modifier. The way the uh, modifier list is in 4.0, I, really, I don't really like that much, but that's a personal preference, like the older way of doing it, of it being displayed. But to go to Generate and Subdivision Surface, uh, let's bump this up to 1. Click on the arrow from the drop-down menu, click on Apply. And we're going to left-click and press Shade Smooth, get a, a better appearance of Suzanne. Now we're going to change our viewport to, let's uh, turn to EV. It renders in EV in Cycles. Cycles is better, but EV is faster. So we're going to click on our World, on our world uh, tab there to change the atmosphere, the look of our viewport here. And click on the color tab and brighten this up a little bit. I'm going to change it to a bit of a blue color to give it more of a sky look. And this is our model here. Now in order for the add-on to work, it has to have some material to apply the uh, image to. Right now Suzanne doesn't have an image, it doesn't have the UV unwrapped, just have material applied to your model. So we're going to scroll down here, click on our Material tab, and click on New. And now it has a material applied to it. Now the add-on, once this has been installed in Blender, it's not going to be on the in the tool panel on the right-hand side of the UI. So we're going to hover our mouse in the corner here, left-click and drag. And we're going to change it from the 3D viewport to Shader Editor. And it's right here, Stamp It. And there it is. Now we want the stamp it mechanism to be on the front of Suzanne's face and the way the add-on works is that it applies the stamp it mechanism to wherever the cursor is. So we're going to click on our cursor option here and click on the front of Suzanne's face and then click on stamp it and there it is. This is the placeholder for it. If you press during our keyboard and move the cube around which is the mechanism that it uses to place an, an image it actually contours to Suzanne's face, which is cool. I'm going to left click and keep it there. Now, if you look where the add on is, all the options are gone. But click on Suzanne herself. Oh, let's go back to our Move Gizmo and click on Suzanne herself. And now our options are here. Now, in the newer version of the add on, it has uh, a button here which allows you to make more modifications to. The textures which is basically opacity which is helpful quite a bit but this um, it kind of gives you an intro on, on how the add-on uh, orchestrates itself if you click on this arrow it gives you the option to go to the uh, stamp mechanism click back on Suzanne our options come back up this helps you choose the image you want to place on Suzanne this helps you to actually fix the aspect ratio just in case aspect ratio is off and obviously the trash can means that you can delete your texture. 
But right now we're just going to apply the texture to uh, Suzanne using the placeholder. So left click on that folder. I'm going to navigate to where I have installed or downloaded textures onto my computer. So I'm going to click on D drive, scroll down to blender textures, change my display here and click on this uh, cross-sectional view of a Kiwi. Replace image and there you go. If we click on, we can either click on this uh, icon or click on the cube itself, but let's look, click on that icon and press G. You can see that the uh, image contours to Suzanne's face quite nicely, which is great. That's what the add-on is supposed to do. So that's that's the simple, uh, straightforward uh, uh, implication or implementation of the add-on. If you click on Suzanne again, you can add on as many stamps as you'd like to. Just keep on clicking on Stamp It, and it'll keep on adding the uh, cube, this uh, mechanism to uh, your in, your model and like I, like I mentioned before the newer version of it has the ability or the option to uh, deal with the opacity of your uh, image that way they can blend a lot easier onto the surface of your model but this is a good start now what I'd want to do again is to test it because as you can see the image is pretty much uh, glued onto our model. With Suzanne Select, if we press, press G, you can see that the uh, image moves with Suzanne's head, which is great. But I want to see how it's going to act if it's applied to a character or a character's clothing that's actually moving. Let's see how that looks. So we're going to, I already have a scene set up for this. I'm going to go, for, go to File, Open Recent, and I'm going to click on Freddy, Don't Save. Now this guy is the guy I downloaded from online, from iClone actually. If I press play, he's walking. Now I'm going to um, apply that image, that same image onto his clothing, his shirt here, and see if the image moves with the clothing as he's walking. So with Freddy selected here, I'm gonna divide up my viewport, left click and drag. I click on that icon, Shader Editor, and let's move our cursor to the front of Freddy. Left click on that, click on the shirt, stamp it, expand that, and click on stamp it. And okay, now it's the first thing I've noticed is that it's actually like really shrunk the mechanism. You can you can't really see, it, but it's there. So I'm going to press S on our keyboard and scale this up. Okay. And now we have the mechanism applying the placeholder on the Freddy shirt here. Let me left click on Freddy, go back to our move uh, option there. Left click on Freddy. And I'm going to, let's click on the folder again and apply that same image, the cross section view of the, um, of that piece of fruit there, Blender Textures, click on that, replace image, and it's there. It's kind of really stretched out for some reason. Let's see, G. Okay, there we go. It just popped back into place. So now, if we click on Freddy and press G, oh, let me click on this armature and G. Now, the image of the uh, fruit there of the kiwi is moving with Freddy But let's have Freddy walk and see if the image sticks to his shirt. So press play and it doesn't Okay, so I guess that's the limitation <clears throat> that it has if you're applying the image <clears throat> to a model like a wall that is stationary or Maybe even to a car it will stay with the model if it's on applied to a, a character that's moving the clothing, it doesn't seem to stick that well. Uh, the developer might have uh, fixed this probably in, new, in a newer version, but you'd have to just download yourself and try it out to see. Uh, but for the most part, it does it does a good job of it just sticking to like solid stationary models that aren't walking. So that's that's good.
And that's the uh, Stamp It add-on. It's a pretty, pretty good uh, add-on, I'd have to say. Um, and once again, I hope this tutorial is helpful for those of you that have watched. And remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.